so uh so we're gonna get started with our marinade now this has already been pre-made okay so these are two large chicken breasts that have been cut in half and i put obviously put these ingredients in now you want to marinate this at least six hours i recommend at least between six to eight hours okay so this has already been pre-made and this is what we're gonna cook today so i'm just showing you how to make this marinade so we got already uh cut our chicken up and i got the ziploc bag here okay i'm just gonna open this up okay we're gonna put our chicken in just like so all right Just like this. Okay. Just gonna stir these ingredients up, that's all. Okay. Gonna pour it in the bag just like that. Pour, gonna pour a half in at a time. That's it. Just how I do it. Go ahead and pour the other half. Here comes the hot sauce. Okay, all of it. Make sure you take all the air out of the bag as far as much as you can get. Okay. Mix around a little bit. Oh yeah, so what did I say? Six to eight hours. You can marinate it overnight. No longer than that, you know, it's up to you. But I recommend at least between six to eight hours. Okay, and uh, so we're gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna start with this and um, get to our, our dry batter. All right, so we got our, we're gonna do our dry batter here. So we already got our flour, all right? So let's go ahead, add the cornstarch. This is gonna definitely help the chicken get as crispy as we want it, you know? So uh, definitely want that. So we got all that cornstarch in there. So here goes our other ingredients. Just mix it up. That's all. You can add it individually. It's just this is what I do. I just like to mix up, you know, all my ingredients together. Okay. Okay. So get yourself a whisk. You know, and just try to mix up your flour, right? It's much better try to use uh, the glass bowls, you know, that way you can really, you know, do that little test at the bottom and make sure all your flour mixtures mix really well. Okay. But I'm pretty sure this is, this is gonna be pretty easy. This is pretty good. Okay. So we can do our wet right now. So we got our milk. One egg. And there goes some more hot sauce. Okay, so I'll just try to wix that up. Mm, yeah. What we got. If you want to know, I'm using a red hot Frank's. That's the hot sauce I'm using. Okay, so we mix that up pretty good. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and just uh, get our chicken going. So we got. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, we're gonna double dip. All right. So we're gonna go wet, dry wet, dry. All right, that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna finish. We're just gonna put it right here on this pallet. I'll do the first one for you, okay? What y'all gonna smell that? Go ahead and smell this, uh, this mixture that we got. Get all up in there. Smell that. Yeah. Now, if your eyes ain't watering right now, this ain't hot enough, okay? Okay, let's see. Get ourselves a real quick mix this on. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go with our wet. All right, we're gonna dump that in like that. Okay. On 
to our dry. Okay. Try to punch it down if you can. And this is just what I do, because you want to get all this flour and all that all in the crevice like that, you know, all in all in the chicken like that. So just get back to the wet one more time. fish and try to get try to get as much flour as you can on it that's what I do flip it over uh -huh. yeah got this one pretty good okay so that's our first one and we're gonna do the other three all right, so we got our chicken all, you know, floured up, you know, ready to go. All right. So uh, right now, I need you guys to check your oil, okay? Check your oil. Uh, check the temperature, you know. You don't want it too hot. You don't want it, you know, too low. So it should be anywhere between, let's say, between 300 to 350 degrees. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and check your oil. I already checked mine. Mine's is good. So we're going to go ahead and put this chicken right up in here, Okay. So you start with this one, okay, okay, all right. Now we want to cook these, let's say what, about five to six minutes on each side. So after five to six minutes, I want you to go ahead and flip your chicken. I mean, that just was just kind of, this is what how I do it. All right, so about five to six minutes, go ahead and uh, flip your chicken and you should be good. All right, it's been about five, six minutes. Let's go ahead and let's flip our chicken. All right, looking good, looking good. All right. Go ahead, we flipped it. All right, so another five, six minutes and we'll put in the other two. All right, so it's been about another five, six minutes. So we're ready to, ready to pull these out and see how they look. Yeah. Nice and crispy. All right, we're gonna let this sit just for just for a minute, and we're gonna take the temp. You know, take the temperature. All right, those are the last two right there. Okay. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is just check our temperature. Get yourself a thermometer. And I want you to go ahead and uh, check your temperature. You want it at 165. Okay. All right, so we're using uh, brioche buns. All right, so we're using brioche buns. All right, nice sweet buns. So I want you, I'm, I'm gonna use, you can get yourself any kind of butter, but I'm gonna use, you know, that can't, I can't believe it's not butter. All right, spray your bread. We're gonna toast these. Okay. All right, you can see, you hear that sizzle like that. All right, so you just toast to your liking, you know? All right, so we're just gonna toast all these buns and we'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna add our pepper jack cheese while the chicken is still hot. All right. All right, got that pepper jack on there. Okay, so we're done with everything. So start out with our brioche bun. Got it all nice and toasty, nice and buttery. All right, so we start out with that. Uh, got our chicken right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna choose this one, okay? Oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna choose that one. Okay, oh, wait a minute, made a little mistake, it's okay. Let's um, put a little mayo on there, okay? Just a little, okay. Just wanna. Okay, that's 
Mm -hmm. All right. So, made some coleslaw, and uh, so we're gonna add, we're gonna top it off with some coleslaw. All right. Depending on how much you like, you know, on your on your sandwich. But coleslaw goes real good on a chicken sandwich. Okay? Goes real good on a chicken sandwich. I like a lot of coleslaw. All right. Got a big piece of cabbage here. So that's going to be good right there. All right. All right. We can uh, mail the other top of our bun here. think about that yeah nice and crispy juicy got that coleslaw pepper jack oh uh, yeah go and get in that 